Um, how do you feel about that moment that we had last year where all five beauty pageant winners were women of color in all five beauty pageants? And you were the first one of all of them. You were the first one. How did that make you feel when you witnessed that? almost, what, nearly 50 years later? Yes, yes, 50 years later. Uh, a beauty pageant uh, helps to celebrate one's physical attributes, but there are opportunities, you know, that we need, we ne never need to limit ourselves. We need to take advantage of educational opportunities and opportunities that will help to further our innate goals in life. So I, I think it's important for these goals to line up the choices that we make. Miss Jennifer, last but not least, let me ask you this. Misbehavior, and I have your, your book right here. <laughs> did you like um, it? I did. I really enjoyed it. It was a wonderful read. So well thought out and well written. So thank you for that. Um, this movie is centered around the women's liberation movement. And the women's lib movement, the beginnings of it, were not very keen on the images of what you just said about beauty being more than just the physical, it being a mental and a spiritual thing. Were you conflicted at the time, knowing that that's how you felt in your heart and you were part of this pageant and how all of this is reflected in the film? How do you feel about all of that coming together in that way? Well, I never saw myself as um, the most beautiful girl. I, I, I took a very scientific approach to the whole thing. I thought, what is my comparative advantage? And I thought my comparative advantage was my ability to talk, to speak, because I was a trained broadcaster. I had worked in the airline industry. I was used to meeting people. So I was always conscious that that's where I needed to shine. But in addition, my sister and I, as we discussed in the book, saw it as a package deal. So I had to have the best, the best evening gown that I could find, the best costume, and the best bathing suit. These were all parts of the contest. In the final analysis, I felt that I would shine at the interview. And that's what I focused on. So even then, I thought that those, the physical attributes were just part of the package. It really did take, I, I remember dancing with Glenn Campbell, oh. um, who was one of the judges at the, at the contest, after the contest. And he said to me, Jennifer, it was your sincerity that won. Don't ever lose it. And, and those words have stayed with me throughout my life because I've always thought that with the platform that having won this world gave to me, it was my responsibility to use that in a meaningful way, to further, to further some of the important things for women, gender equality, continue to be important not only not only because it's important is because we need upward mobility for women that was beautifully stated thank you so much jennifer hostin for taking time out of your day to speak with me i so appreciate it you're such a gracious and beautiful woman on the inside and out and i can't wait for people to see misbehavior to keep up with The Curvy Critic, like our page here, click that subscribe button, and click that bell for notifications. Love, peace, and hair grease, y'all.